Hi, everybody. How are you? My name is Julie Hardigan. I am a professional chef and a healthy cooking expert, and I'm so excited to be here tonight to just share some fun, easy, healthy holiday ideas with you guys. So here's the thing. We all know that holiday 2020 is going to look pretty different from our usual holidays, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. So what I wanted to share with you were some really easy, festive, cute appetizers that you could make for yourself. They would be perfect for like a Zoom call with your work colleagues or your college friends or the neighbors, um, something fun to have just like hanging out with your significant other by the fire or wrapping presents or watching holiday specials. And you can make them in really small amounts too, which is great. So it's not like these recipes require uh, tons of your time, tons of ingredients, or um, make like 40 appetizers that you don't need because you're not having the big holiday party this year. So uh, just really quickly about me, I was an engineer for the first part of my career and career changed when my two daughters were toddlers. I went to culinary school in Manhattan. I live in Hoboken with two teen girls. And um, after going to culinary school, I got into food media, which is recipe development, recipe testing and writing. I worked at Food Network for a while, learned how to do video production and be on air. Uh, so you guys, I, I put in the description where to find me, but please definitely follow me on Instagram at cookingwjulie. I share a lot there and I have a really great free cookbook on my website too that you really might like. It's 10 healthy meals in under 20 minutes because who doesn't need an easy, fast, healthy dinner at this point, right? We've all been home cooking for months and months and months. So check out, check me out in both those places. I'm on YouTube too. If you guys like cooking videos and healthy cooking tips. Basically what I share, I call it where happy meets healthy or an upbeat, fun approach to healthy cooking. Because I don't believe that um, eating healthily has to mean feeling deprived, uh, not enjoying your food and not having beautiful food. Um, I've, I've also been a main recipe developer for Weight Watchers corporate for the last 10 years. So if there are any Weight Watchers people out there or WW really, um, you can also reach out to me. I have lots of smart point slashing tips and recipes for Weight Watchers people. All right, let's get into these recipes. The first one I'm gonna show you is so cute. They're little smoked salmon canapé, or if you want, you could make little smoked salmon everything bagel bites. And it's as easy as either using everything bagel thins on the bottom or to lighten them up, which is always a fun thing to do. That way you have more room for cookies or cocktails or whatever it is you like you can use a cucumber slice on the bottom. Then you just top with a little bit of smoked salmon. And what I made here was a quick Greek yogurt mixture with Greek yogurt, shallot, a little bit of lemon zest and some fresh dill. But I have an idea for you. If you don't even wanna deal with doing that, you can just use some store-bought tzatziki instead to put as a pretty garnish on top. And then I finished it off with a little bit more fresh dill and ta-da, you've got these healthy, pretty little bites that would be really nice for brunch or like I said, pour some bubbly, put on some fun earrings and a cocktail dress and have a good time on the next uh, endless Zoom call that we've all been having for the past eight or nine months. Another fun way to top these if you like is some everything but the bagel seasoning mix. It just gives such a great flavor burst to I think everything. I put it on my eggs and kind of everything. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you or talk to you about how easy it is to make yummy stuffed mushrooms in your toaster oven. You don't even need to wait and start up the whole oven. So here, I have a little small batch here. These are brie stuffed mushrooms with uh, garlicky panko topping. So stuffed mushrooms are a great one because obviously they're gluten-free. Gluten um, I did use panko here, but you could skip that part or use gluten-free breadcrumbs if you wanted that crunch on top. Um, crushed potato chips would be kind of fun on top too. So if you aren't into the brie, you could use some low fat mozzarella. You could use some chopped cooked sauteed veggies, maybe with a little bit of feta, spinach and feta would be really fun here. You could also use a little bit of low fat mozzarella or a little mozzarella ball, which would be nice. But here's the tip, my tip to get the best flavor out of your stuffed mushrooms. So you're gonna wanna use baby Bella mushrooms, little cremini mushrooms like this. They have like a more meaty, earthy, yummy flavor um, versus basic button mushrooms. So I, I really do recommend you try these. You just pop the stem off like this, and then you line as many up as you want to make for yourself on uh, a piece of foil for your toaster oven. Season with some salt and pepper. You can hit it with some cooking, hit them with some cooking spray or olive oil if you want. 
and you're just gonna broil them for like three to four minutes. And the reason why we're doing that, it's going to let out a lot of the juices and cook them down a little bit. And I'll show you the difference. Starts like this, it ends up like this. So it's got already has really amazing flavor. Now you have fun just stuffing it with whatever you want. Like I said, the brie, you could do spinach and feta, you could do cooks, um, chicken sausage or turkey sausage, whatever you like, pop them back in and you've got some adorable little stuffed mushrooms for yourself or your family. Okay, and the third one, these are one of my favorite, seriously, they're the easiest little cooking hack ever. You're never gonna believe it. Look at these little adorable tartlets. I've got roasted pepper, tapenade tartlets and also pear pecan and brie tartlets can you guys see that <laughs> it's always so funny on facebook live trying to show people things so the secret to these this is one of my favorite things to keep on hand have you guys seen these little mini phyllo shells these are from wegmans trader joe's has them they're in the freezer case at your uh, your supermarket so they're pre-baked teeny tiny little phyllo shells. They're really light and much lower in carb than like a cracker or a piece of bread or crustini. They make everything look adorable and really pretty. And again, with your toaster oven, all you need to do is bake these guys for like two to three minutes and they're already cooked. You just kind of want to get them a little crispy and a little bit lightly browned. And then you get to have fun with whatever fillings you want to put in them. So what I did here Again, I'm all about keeping it easy for the holidays. You could just pick up some, I got some nice roasted pepper bruschetta, tomato bruschetta would be yummy, olive tapenade, or to lighten these up, um, but have them be like an upscale kind of a fun combo. You could do a little bit of diced, <laughs> well, that's a mess under there. You could do a little bit of diced pear and pecan and a little gorgonzola, which would be really yummy too. Maybe drizzle with a little maple syrup or balsamic and they're adorable, crispy little bites. I just thought these would be really fun, a fun idea for you guys. So, you know, no matter how you're spending the holidays this year, I hope obviously you stay healthy and stay safe and you get to enjoy. But um, one thing I'm a big believer in, and if you uh, follow me on Instagram, like I said, at cookingwjulie, check out my website, cookingwjulie.com. I'm all about positivity and making the best of pretty much any situation, um, the best that we can. So, you know, I really would encourage you to just take a little bit of time, make yourself some really fun party bites for you and your family, your significant other, and find ways to make this holiday special, even though it is going to be a really different one. So I'm going to say goodbye now, but we'll be sharing this video. I'm going to post it into the group and definitely come say hi in my Facebook group too. It's Cooking W Julie. And I will put a link below. I have a private Facebook group too, where I do special events and cooking uh, classes and things like that. It's called Where Happy Meets Healthy. So thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. I hope um, this was helpful and gave you some fun new ideas. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.